my name is Avner, and today I'm going to talk to you about sophisticated consumers with inertia, evidence from a large-scale field experiment. Inertia is a very robust finding in the social sciences, and it means that people tend to be inactive and stay in the same state. For example, they keep or choose the default option, and in today's uh, paper, we're going to talk about people who stay subscribed to a service if a contract automatically renews, but they will not renew if the same contract ends. While this is a very robust phenomena, it has been documented mainly in cases where people are already in or cannot avoid inertia-inducing states. For example, they have to choose a health plan or they're already in a health plan, already saving, have to save, etc., etc. The question that then arises are, do, are people aware of their future inertia? And if they do, do they try to avoid it? And what, what is the inertia in the population and uh, uh, et cetera? And this is important for firms as well, because while the common wisdom says that firms gain market power from it, it might scare off consumers at the get-go. So we want to learn about inertia sophistication. So let's say we observe people choosing inertia-inducing products and services, a subscription contract. To know if consumers are aware and act on their future inertia, what do we need? We need some random variation in the future inertia-inducing attributes of the contract. We need to follow subscribers and non-subscribers over time and to see take up and usage and subscription over time uh, after take up and if they did not subscribe in the first place. We accomplished that and more by running a large scale field experiment with a premium daily European newspaper. So the experiment is as follows. A reader of the paper who is not a subscriber enters the experiment if they hit the paywall on the newspaper's website and they hit the paywall if they read any of the premium content. We randomize a promo period offer between the readers in a two by two by two design. We randomize the price between zero and 99 cents, the duration between two and four weeks for the prom period, and most importantly, the inertia terms. Will the contract automatically renew after the prom period ends or will it automatically cancel? After the prom, the terms are identical and the price is 20 euros per four month for two months and then 35 per month for eternity. The data we have are two years of uh, all the CRM data of the company. So any product purchased by those uh, people uh, on the, for the paper, both what the experimental offers they've seen and what they took and any non-experimental offers they took. And we have also some usage behavior for a narrower time period before the experiment and after the experiment. The total sample is about 2 million readers. I'm going to jump straight to the results, show you the effects of the auto renewal, offering an auto renewal contract versus offering an auto cancellation contract on subscription rates. And I'm going to show you those effects by time period. So the important numbers here are all of them. In the promo period, there is 30% almost fewer subscribers to auto renewed, automatically renewed contracts than automatically canceled contracts. Yet, there's overcompensation for that, that even though there are fewer initial subscribers, there are 10 to 20% more subscribers in the medium round. So for almost six months, there are more subscribers in the auto renewal than auto cancellation uh, products. However, there is this negative trend and less and less even a reversal for fewer subscribers in the auto renewal contracts after a long time. And that suggests together with other evidence in the paper that there is some spite and people actually shy away from the firm. In the project, which I told you briefly about, we do more about usage and types and revenues. The main findings are that yes, there is a share of consumers who are inert, yet a lot of them are aware of it and they are sophisticated about it and avoid the service. And many, many others are not inert at all. So when we focus on the entire population versus just the takers of inert inducing uh, product, there is uh, a lot to learn from that. And while naivete leads to strong inertia, many consumers are not naive. And that's at limitations on exploiting behavioral consumers and suggests some backlash. This is an important trade-off for firms and our research suggests that it might be 
not only more ethical, but also more profitable to uh, reduce inertia. Thank you.